What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and today I have a list of some really cool things that I think every single one of you guys should have. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the 10 things that every guy should have at all times. Apart from making you prepared for any situation, it can also make you look pretty cool and manly. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alex. On this channel, we talk about men's fashion, grooming, style, dating advice, and everything in between. If that sounds good to you, if you clicked on this channel and this video to learn more about men's lifestyle, then hit that subscribe button below and join the three million other guys in this community that we've built here together. All right, the first item on today's list is a toolbox with, of course, tools inside. Now, this is the number one thing every guy should have in his house. For those times when you have to fix a broken pipe or fix a wall or, you know, loose screw or pretty much anything, right? You can keep borrowing your neighbors or, you know, calling someone to help you out, but you have to be able to fix at least the minor things in your home by yourself. That is why you need a toolbox from, you know, traditional hand tools like a hammer and pliers to more modern tools, you know, like a cordless drill. For example, every guy should probably have those at home. I have one, I use it all the time. Also guys, a side note, I went to a home improvement store the other day and I felt like an adult, man. I was like, wow, this is Disneyland. You have all the tools here. That's when you know you're getting old. Next on the list, something that every guy definitely needs at home is a corkscrew. Look, let's look at this scenario, right? You have a girl over for a nice home-cooked dinner, or maybe you just ordered something. It doesn't matter. You have the candles, you have the works. You have the entire package, but then when it's time to pour the wine, you forgot that you don't have a corkscrew, man. Now, I don't want anything like that to happen to you guys, so you need to have a corkscrew. This is something that is a mistake that I've definitely made, and it was embarrassing, so make sure that you guys have one at home, even if you don't drink that much. If you drink once in a while like I do, I like to have one just in case. A friend comes over, I do have bottles of wine waiting here, and if they want to drink, I have the wine, I have the corkscrew, I have the wine glasses, Highly recommend you guys do the same. They're also pretty affordable, so you can get them on Amazon. Just make sure you have something so that you don't have a bottle of wine with nothing to open. Now, something that I got into recently, probably over the past two years or so, is cigars. Now, let me get this out of the way. Smoking is not good for you. It's, it's really not. So I'm not telling you to smoke every day. I'm saying that I definitely enjoy a casual cigar with my friends. And when I do, I like to smoke La Aurora cigars. They were kind enough to sponsor today's video, which is awesome because it's a hobby that I truly enjoy and that I want to learn more about. Because I mean, look at the Godfather movies, right? Al Pacino and Scarface. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look at Jack Nicholson. They all smoke cigars casually. It's a cool hobby, that is for sure. And what I like about cigars is that you can enjoy it for a long time. It takes a while to smoke a cigar. It's, it's very enjoyable. My friends and I will sit outside, we'll chat for a long time about life, cars, whatever, you know, and you will smoke a cigar. And the fact that you can learn so much about the cigars and the craftsmanship, the passion, that goes into making one of these. Guys, La Aurora was started in 1903. They're Dominican cigars. That's a lot of history. There's a lot that goes into this. So if you're just getting into the finer things in life, like a cigar here and there, if you're looking to learn more about cigars, then definitely start with a La Aurora cigars. These are very high end with a variety of flavor notes. So whether you're a beginner or a cigar expert, then La Aurora has a cigar for you. And actually they even help you by giving you a form to fill out and once you answer those questions, they will tailor your choices and, and tell you exactly what you should be smoking, what kind of cigar you would appreciate more. This is the thing, the tradition of cigars, the, the manliness. There's just something about smoking a cigar once in a while that's unbeatable. It's a cool feeling, so definitely check out La Aurora's website below. It's gonna be the first link in the description below. I'm actually gonna be smoking one of these today. I'm gonna be watching the F1 race with some of my friends. I'm pumped. This plus Formula One, it's just the perfect combo. Next up guys, and this, I, if you don't have this yet, man, if you're a subscriber here of the channel, it's time for an upgrade. You need a grooming kit, all right? And I've talked a lot about this, so if you're a longtime subscriber, I know you have a grooming But if you're not, please, every guy needs a grooming kit to achieve that, you know, clean cut look. No one wants to show up looking like a caveman or with bushy hair and a crazy beard if you go to a job interview or a date. So get a kit so that you can keep yourself neat, presentable. A good grooming kit. I'm talking about, you know, nail clippers. I'm talking about making sure that you have a trimmer 
for your beard, right? All of these things, guys need these things. You wanna make sure that you look good. You don't have to overdo it. You don't have to spend 45 minutes getting ready every day, but make sure that you look presentable. Gentleman is the key word here. What would a gentleman do? I always look at, you know, James Bond 007, and I'm like, what would he do? He's obviously gonna look sharp every step of the way. So that's what you guys should be thinking about as well. Staying on this James Bond theme, you know, no matter how well groomed you are, the ultimate way to look, I mean, there's no word, uh, other word rather than awesome, it, it is a suit, is a well-tailored suit. A suit makes you look like the perfect gentleman. It makes you look stylish, sophisticated, commands respect, makes you look like you're in control. But you can't really pull that off, that feeling, you know, being a respectable gentleman if your suit doesn't fit you all. So rather than going for some cheap off the rack suit that will make you look cheap and unkept, go for a well-tailored suit with premium quality that's made just for you. So make sure that you're getting a suit. And if you do get off the rack, it's totally fine. I have a lot of suits off the rack. Get it tailored. That will make a huge difference. Most of the time, the suits that you get off the rack, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, they're okay, but they won't fit you perfectly. And that makes a difference. Guys, getting a suit tailored will make you look so much better. It takes it up a notch. It takes you to the next level. Uh, I've been getting more and more into suits. I I've never really liked them until recently. I think quarantine changed me. I can't wear sweatpants anymore, man. I, I want to dress up. And if you guys are feeling the same way, make sure that you get a suit and make sure that you get it tailored perfectly so that you can look like a gentleman as well. And to go with that suit, maintaining this gentleman vibe that we have here, every man needs a watch. You know, no matter what type of watch, it depends on your budget. You know, watches can vary from 50 bucks to millions of dollars nowadays, right? So you don't have to go for a really expensive watch. I got this Rolex here when I reached a million subscribers on this YouTube channel. It was a trophy for me, it was a gift for myself. But before this watch, I never had any expensive watches and I've always loved watches. I just couldn't really afford one, didn't really see the need to spend that much money on a watch. So I was perfectly fine with other watches. And that's what I'm telling you guys, you do not need to spend big money on a watch as long as it's a classy watch. You know, sometimes I see guys wearing a big gold watch, massive, and it's not even like a nice, brand with any heritage, it's just a big gold watch, massive. That's not a good look. It doesn't look like you're a gentleman, it just looks like you're being loud and obnoxious. So make sure that you get something that is classy. Make sure you get something that is professional, that is versatile, right? And if you're gonna get something that is not professional, then go for something fun, something different. It doesn't have to be from this brand, it can be from any other brand, but just something that is a little bit more fun, that brings a cool vibe to your outfit. Ideally though, I would say, get a watch that is either stainless steel or something with a black or brown band. That's gonna be more versatile. That's gonna be way classier than anything blue or yellow or all of those fun colors that there's definitely a place for them, but it's not in your versatility scale. It's not that great. Another item that you definitely need to get right now is a slim wallet, right? <laughs> I, I can't stand a thick, big wallet filled with receipts and photos and it's just too much. Why? There's no, it looks like a burger, right? It's like, why? It's like you have this bul bulge in, in, the, in your back pocket and then you sit down and you literally sideways because there's, there's a wallet on one side in your back pocket. It's horrible. Get something that is thin, something that is classy, modern. You can put your credit cards, you know, up to like four or five credit cards, some cash, and that is it. There's nothing else that needs to go in your wallet. When it comes to wallets, just remember that sleek is the way to go. Do not get a bulky wallet. That does not look good. It looks messy, and it just gives you more room for stuff that you don't need. And to be honest, recently, I've even just been using a card holder, the one that attaches to my phone here, and that is it. So I walk around with three cards, nothing else. Now, something that I've always loved, even as a kid, is a weekender bag, man. There's just something so classy, so cool about that look. You know, like every campaign from all of these designer stores, designer brands, it's all like the guy with the weekender bag, you know, with the convertible car and he's got the, the trunk open, he's about to put the bag. It just looks so cool. So I've always liked those bags. So this weekend shoulder bag is the perfect travel bag if you're looking to get away for a few days. You don't wanna you know, pack a lot of stuff. If you're going away for the weekend somewhere, you, you, know, you don't really want a rolling suitcase. You just want something that's a little bit lighter so you can just throw it over your shoulder, look super cool, and go. That is the best. The weekender bag, there's just something about it. Even if you're going to your friend's house, 
right? You're going over and you, you want to bring some stuff, whatever it is, maybe some video games, honestly, anything, cigars, whatever you want. The Weekender shoulder bag, that's the way to go. It's way classier than a backpack, way classier than a tote of any kind. So that's why I highly recommend you guys check them out. Now, one of the signs that a man is, is, is classy is artwork and the type of artwork that he has at home. Now, I just moved into my own place. You know, I bought this place recently. You see that I have a little bit of artwork here, but I have a lot of other things that I had to purchase for my home. And it's funny because you start to understand what kind of artwork speaks to you. As a man, you really have to, do you want something that's super colorful and crazy? Or do you want something that's classy and black and white and minimalist, which is more of my style? But there's so much amazing, stylish, aesthetically pleasing artwork. And I definitely think you guys should start paying more attention to that. If you live in a bedroom in your parents' house, that's still okay. You should still have something on the wall and start learning more and more about artwork so that when you move into your own places, then you can have your own aesthetic. Then you can have your own style. Then you can make your place look amazing. Instead of doing what I did, which is I moved and I'm like, I have no idea what to put on these walls, man. I, I have never done this before. I used to have some crazy flags, like, you know, when I was a teenager, it was bad. So I had to learn myself. And I, I think it's something that you should be learning early on. And since we're talking about home improvements and decor, let's talk about home fragrance. You guys should definitely have some type of home fragrance, whether it's candles or a diffuser or some spray, anything that will make your house, your home smell amazing, right? I think it's really important that when somebody walks into your home, they get the vibe. They understand that this is a clean home, this smells amazing, and this is a gentleman that lives here. So definitely make sure that you guys are looking into home fragrances, even if it's just for your bedroom, so that your place smells incredible. And of course, don't forget to check out La Aurora Cigars. They were kind enough to sponsor today's video. I'm so excited, man. I'm so pumped to smoke one of these today and watch the F1. If you guys like the F1, let me know in the comment section down below. Who, what's, your, what's your team? Who's your driver? I want to know all of it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.